tires put on and tune your engine up. Fill her up with gas and grab your favorite hub. Go head up to the track to take your place for some speedway fun when Pud Pud enters the race. Pud Pud enters the race. Okay, Pep, okay. Ready, Pep? Catch! Special delivery, Pep Pep! Wowie, zowie! Oh boy, it's from Redline Rick. It says I'm invited to join the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity! Well, I hate to run, but I got more mail to um deliver. I'll be talking to you later, Pep Pep. Hey, Pep, come on, pal. race car, you have to be able to grip the road, race like the dickens, and always keep safety first. So, you might have to get some things. I know! I can get whatever I need in Car Town! Well, here's a list of all the things you'll need to get. You'll need high-powered, high-octane gasoline, super-speed rated racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number one on it. That's your official number. Thanks, Redline Rick. I can't wait. I better get busy. I have a lot of gear to get before the big race. Go Pud Pud racing up and down the speedway Well Pud Pud's gonna race and that's a sure bet He's a groovy little car with a dog named Pep When he revs up his engine round the speedway you'll know All the other cars shout go Pud Pud go Go Pud Pud go Pud Pud racing up and down the speedway 
When I give the green bag, it's a signal to go With Pep's new helmet, he'll be safe, you know To get the power you need, I can feel he's a must Racing with the cars, kicking up all that dust Go Papa, go Papa, racing up and down the speedway Keep us flag a flapping with his number on the side He's the coolest little car on a crazy wild ride The car top 500's the best race to run And a good win it, so let's go have some fun Let's go! Racing round the speedway to the finish line He's zooming with the cars, having a grand old time He's got the extra speed to take the curve so fast The Cartel 500 sure is a blast Go Papa, go Papa, racing up and down the speedway Go Papa, go Papa, racing up and down the speedway Go Papa! Ready to go? Oh, he visited my favorite customer, Butt Butt. Hi, Mrs. Widget. I was just looking around. Oh, you look around to your heart's content. Me, I'm trying out all the new toys in the stock room. I want to make sure they work just right. Have fun. Oh, I always do. Batteries must be free. Great! These might come in handy. Car Town Color. Whoa, it would be great to get a new paint job. Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt, what can I do for you today? I just stopped by to say hi, Smokey. It's always nice to have you visit. Thanks, Chief. It's the Cartown Wash. And then 
empty bottle? This doesn't belong here. I should recycle it. It's Cartown Gas. Hey, I should clean my windshield. That last bug really made a mess. Ah, squeaky clean. That's much better. Extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Fill her up. Whoa, I'm humming like a race car. That extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline doesn't last very long. I should take some of it with me to the race so I can use it there. Good morning, Pot Pot. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. How are you on this fine sunny day? I'm a great Pot Pot. Hey, Pot Pot, I'm getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the farm and pick me up some more, huh? Sure. What do you need, Mr. Baldini? Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of orange, one of zucchini, and a one of head of lettuce. Okay, I can get that. Excellent. You bring them back to me in this box, and I'll give you two coins, but but. Gee, thanks. I could use some coins, Mr. Baldini. Great. Uh, well, a good luck. Hey, it's Chuck, and it looks like he's in trouble. Pot Pot, how's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh, one of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. <laughs> I'm one stuck, Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a triangle. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. And putt putt. Long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a fat dormouse. A baby one, if you can believe that. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you, Outback Al. Jackaroo, you're on! Is that a racing flag? It sure is, Putt-Putt. Why? Did you need it for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. Go ahead and take it. I don't need it. Okay, thanks. But first, I'll bring you some food for your baby fat doormouth. He looks hungry. Animals of the alphabet. I'd like to take a look at that. F is for fat dormouse. The fat dormouse is always hungry, eating everything it sees. But his favorite food of all, I'm told, is dried up pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds! That's what I should get for Outback Gal to feed to his baby fat dormouse. I wonder where I can find some. 
I shouldn't bother him. He's bleeding. Put Put, hello! Hi, Mrs. Airbag. How are you doing today? Just fine, Put Put. Mrs. Airbag, I was wondering if you wanted me to take your bottle to the recycling center today. That would be a big help, Put Put. Thank you. Okay. And I'll bring the coin back for you. Oh, no, Put Put. You can keep the coin. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Airbag. Well, if it isn't Pit Pit, this has been a heck of a day. Bonzo, my cat, charged up my tree. I mean, charged up my tree, and he can't get down. At least he's got his safety helmet on. It's too high to reach, but maybe I can find something I can use to get him down for you, Mr. Fender Bender. That's a Cracker Jack idea, son. I should find something tall enough so Bonzo can get down from there before he falls. Excuse me, Smokey. Is it okay with you if I borrow your ladder? I'd like to be able to loan it to you, Pot Pot. But it's the official Cartown Fire Station rule that equipment can only be loaned to someone who's earned a Junior Fire Marshal badge. How do I earn one, Smokey? You have to alert the Cartown Fire Station in case of an emergency. So keep your eyes open, Putt-Putt. Okay, Smokey, I will. Smokey's on his way. You may hang up the phone now. Okay. He's here! Wow, that was fast. Thanks for calling 911, Putt Putt. Now stay over here where you're safe and I'll put this fire out. Accomplished. And now, Putt Putt, I believe you've earned a special reward. Your Junior Fire Marshal badge, because you alerted me to an emergency. Wow, thanks, Smokey. Believe me, you earned it, Putt Putt. Enjoy. I hope to see you around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to head back to the station. Bye, Smokey. Smokey did a great job putting out that fire! Hot ziggity! A bottle! Uh-oh! I say, I sounded my horn. Careful, one main road. What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. Mm. 
I have a little song about a vegetable tasty. I plant it and I grow it and I call it zucchini. It makes me laugh to say a name so fancy free. So I plant it and I grow it and I call it zucchini. Wow, it's a flashlight. Hey, Pot, but you want that whole thing? It's not really working. You know what's wrong with it, Torval? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks. Oh, don't you go mentioning it now. So, Putt Putt, what brings you out this way? Mr. Baldini wanted me to pick up some things at your farm. Oh, yeah. He told me all about that. You go right ahead. Thanks. I wonder where I can find the fruits and vegetables Mr. Baldini asked for. I still need to find an orange, a zucchini, and a head of lettuce. I need some of those. I think I'll pick some. Hey, it's a zucchini. I've got to get one for Mr. Baldini. I better pick it. Some of those for Mr. Baldini. I better pick some. That's it. I filled the box. Now I have to take it back to Mr. Baldini. my boy, where does a bird go when it loses its tail? Uh, uh, beats me. The retail store. <laughs> Hi, Putt-Putt. Where are you going? I was hoping to head over the hill, Pete, but it looks like the road's blocked. It sure is. I lost my hook somewhere this morning. I heard it drop off with a clank, but I don't remember where. Without my hook, I can't move even one of these pipes. I don't know what to do. Well, guess what, Pete? I think I found your hook back in the tunnel near the farm. Oh, but, but, I hope that's really my hook. I can't wait to see it. Here's the hook, Pete. Is it yours? Is it ever? But, but, you are a great pal. Why don't you hook it back on me, and I'll get these pipes moved. Thanks, Putt Putt. Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. All clear. 
there. Thanks again, Putt-Putt. It sure feels great to be able to work again. You're welcome, Pete. get to work. Ready? Go! Recycling? Of course not. It's all yours. Thanks. What have you got to drink these days, Rover? Only the best, Putt-Putt. We've got giant jumbo milkshakes and delicious icy cold milk. I'll have a carton of milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt-Putt. Coming right up. There you go. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you! I mean, you're the guy who brought me back from the moon! It's free to you, Putt-Putt! Always! Gee, Rover, that's really nice! <laughs> ah! Good and frosty, yum! accidentally bumped into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. 
Oh, don't worry. I can put it back for you. You do that and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. Have to warn you, though. There's only one way everything fits. Stuff was packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Crankcase. I'll remember that. It's all done, except I can't find a place to put this old gas can. Well, pop my tires. Where did that old thing come from? Far as I'm concerned, you can keep it, but, but if you can use it, that is. I sure can. Now I can save some high-powered, high-octane gasoline for the race. Thanks a lot. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, Mr. Crankcase. I was glad to be able to help you. <laughs> I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Baldini? Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. Mr. Baldini, I need to pick up some pumpkin seeds for Outback Al's fat dormouse. That's a no problem. You go right ahead and I'll just put it on his bill. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. Welcome back, matey. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. Oh. 
Oh, and did you need that old racing flag for something? I sure do, for the Car Town 500. It's all yours, Putt-Putt. Thanks, Outback Al. That's really nice of you. Oh, don't mention it. You help me out, I'll help you out. That's what friends are for. Well, this is great. Now I just need to put my official racing number on it. Look at all the numbers. Redline Rick told me I need to have my official number on my racing flag. Let's see, I think he said, I need a one. That's a one. That's the number I need for my flag. I need to cut this tire patch kit for Chuck. Now which shape did Chuck need his tire patch kit cut into? I think I'll get a new sheet and try again. That shape is a triangle. I cut a triangle. Now I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. Putt, by any chance did you pick up that tire patch kit? I did, Chuck. Well, if that isn't something, did you get it cut out the right way? I sure did. How about that? Well, patch me up, little buddy. I can't wait. Here you go, Chuck. Here's your tire patch kit, cut into a triangle. Why, Putt Putt, are you ever something? Why don't you slap that thing on me so I can be on my way? Okay, here goes! Good as new! Thanks to you! Well, I better get rolling. Drop by the tire center anytime, Putt-Putt. I'd be more than happy to give you a deal on a new set of tires. Wow, I could use a set of super speedy radial racing tires for the big race. Well then, come on down, little buddy. I'll make you a deal of a lifetime. See ya. Excuse me, Smokey. Is it okay with you if I borrow your ladder now? Of course, Pot-Pot. After all, you've earned your Junior Fire Marshal badge. Thanks, Smokey. I'll be sure to return it. Fender Bender, maybe I can help get him down. Don't let me stop you, son. I mean, stop you, son. Go for it. Here, Bonzo. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hi, Bings and Dents, you did it. Now let's take this helmet off you once and for all, Bonzo. Bonzo won't climb trees if he doesn't have a helmet on. I think I'll just get rid of it. If you don't want it, Mr. Fender Bender, I wouldn't mind having it. I need a helmet for Pep, so we can enter the Car Town 500. By all means. I mean, by all means. You take it, son. I'd be bonkers to let Bonzo wear that thing again. Thanks, Mr. Fender Bender. I'm going to the store to get some kitty bits. I'll drop off the ladder at the fire station for you, Pet Pet. Chuck, I 
was wondering if I could buy a set of those super speedy radial racing tires. Redline Rick says these are the kind I need to enter the Car Town 500. Best tire on the market. And am I ever going to make you a deal since you helped me out today? Gee, thanks, Chuck. How much are they? Normally, they're two coins a piece. But for you, I'll give you all four tires for only four coins. That's a savings of four whole coins. I've got four coins. Well, how about that? Hand them over, little buddy, and you got yourself a brand new set of tires. Here you go, Chuck. Four coins. Thank you kindly, Putt-Putt. Now I'm going to have to measure you with these calipers to make sure those tires will fit you. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't going to hurt. Well, well, a perfect fit. Putt Putt, you just bought yourself some primo top of the line super speedy radial racing tires. Would you like me to put them on you now, or would you like to wait until race time? I don't want to race around Car Town too fast, so I'll just put them on at the track. Want to go back to the farm and pick us some more produce? Sure, Mr. Baldini. What do you need? Well, uh, let me see. I need uh, three vegetables that look like this. Okay, Mr. Baldini. You are a great helper, Butt Butt. An empty bottle? This doesn't belong here. I should recycle it. I think I'll recycle it. the fruits and vegetables for Mr. Baldini. I still need to find three vegetables that look like this. that look like this.
I need to pick something in that shape for Mr. Baldini. I need to get for Mr. Baldini. That's it. I filled the box. Now I have to take it back to Mr. Baldini. Baldini? Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. Thank God. 
Ah. That's all free. Get ready to drive on through. Wowie! Wowie! Pick your color, cowboy. Orangey orange! I think I'm going to like this. Now close your eyes real tight, partner. Here you go, sharpshooter. Take a look. This looks great! <laughs> wowie zowie! I like that! <laughs> Extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline! Great! I've got enough for the race! Hey, this is great! I did everything I needed to do to enter the Car Town 500! Hot ziggity! I'm ready to race! Hi, Redline Rick! I got all the things I need for the race! That's great, Putt Putt! Just in time! Go on over to the garage then and boys get y'all fixed up real race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. ready to race is something that's really ready to race. I sure am. Well then, go ahead on up to the starting line. We're just about to start. Contestants, start your engines. On your marks, get set, go!
How about that? First place. You were cruising. Good job out there, Putt Putt. Thanks, Redline Rick. So how about it? You want to race again? I think I've raced enough for today. Well then, let's go to the winner circle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the champagne and most fastest racer in the car down 500, Putt Putt. Way to go, buddy. Wow, thanks a lot. I'd like to thank everyone in Car Town for helping me get all the things I needed. And out back, Al, good luck with your new baby animal. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. Thank you. 